Yo, what is up Zombie Nation, it's your boy Dame and I'm back with a brand new video of your source for COD Zombies news, zombie information and everything that you need to know about zombies. Guys, let's go get it. 115 likes on today's video is the like goal, so go down there, smash that thumb and make it blue, you know how we do. Don't forget, if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you are not new, please make sure to hit that little bell, you will not be notified of my videos when I upload if you do not, so right next to the subscribe button, hit that bell, make it ring, so you're notified of when I upload. I have got a jam-packed video for you today, full of some amazing stories. So guys, without further ado, let's get straight into that video. The first story today comes by a Twitter user by the name of Marquise Thompson. He added Lee Ross and it says, Could we get something like contracts or missions like multiplayer has? I find myself playing a lot of zombies not multiplayer crying out loud emoji and the one himself you know the mecca lee ross responds to marquise and he says hmm i think we have something in store that should cover this quite nicely coming soon to a theater near you cool looking sunglasses emoji guys mission team and contracts or something of the sort could be coming to zombies which is absolutely awesome for the zombie guys, as you know the multiplayer guys have to do mission teams to unlock certain weapons. And now they've also got the opportunity to earn free salvage, free keys and free supply drops by doing their very own contracts. Now of course we can only take this into speculation of exactly what we are going to receive in zombies but the way it was worded, quote, I think we have something in store that should cover that quite nicely, unquote, says to me that we are going to get something like multiplayer, a way to earn more keys, a way to earn salvage, a way to earn weapons, maybe sort of the old missions or contracts we used to get back in Black Ops near towards the end of his life when we could get our own free Liquid Divinium. This is really, really good news. There are a lot of grinders out there with zombies and it would be nice to be rewarded that little bit more instead of just keys and salvage. Not only that, Lee Ross was in a live stream the other day, the Zombie Round Table Podcast episode and we have made our thoughts and wants very very clear that we would also like some sort of mark 2 hack or something like that within zombies as well because if you collect your keys we all know we jump into multiplayer to get our free mark 2 weapons and our free quartermaster hacks just so we can get the special weapons but we're always missing out on our fate and fortune cards which we need for infinite warfare zombies so the word is out we have made our voice heard and hopefully in the future we can see something like that coming to the zombie mood of Infinite Warfare. The next story today again comes from the Mecca's Twitter himself, Lee Ross. A little bit of an old tweet, but I've got a little bit more context to add to this whole tweet, which I think you're going to find very, very interesting. Lee Ross posts on the Twitter, Cinematics are well underway. Just wrapped up round one on video recording today. Cool looking sunglasses emoji. Hashtag DLC free. So the video recordings are completed. Video meaning voice overs of course. But what is even better than that? When Lee Ross was in Zombie Round Table the other day. Links will be in the description if you'd like to go and check that out. Of course you cannot see Lee Ross's replies and I'm going to respect his answers a little bit in this video, not give away too much. But there is one particular thing that he did say which is very, very important that DLC 3 and DLC 4 are already complete. Yes, both DLCs have already been completed. I don't know if this includes the actual voiceovers, but the DLCs themselves have been completed, so they have got lots of lots of time before the end of Infinite Warfare's life which kind of ends in November. So what are they going to be doing within that time? Now I don't want to go out there and make too many radical speculations even though like the one and only Mr. Waffle Waffle said the community is based on conspiracies, conspiracies, speculation and theories. But could there be an extra something in store for us after DLC Four. Not going to turn it into the new DLC 5 meme, I am just planting seeds and who knows, we could be receiving some extra content in the future. Again, speculation, theories and conspiracies. On to the next story today, we may as well have just called this video the story and life of Lee Ross because it comes from him again but I think you're going to find this one rather interesting. Whilst in Zombie Podcast the other day, 
he talks DLC 4, he talks Easter eggs, and he talks, quote, final Easter eggs. Yes, indeed. And Lee Ross himself has actually said that he is going to shave those beautiful golden curly locks on his head if we complete the final Easter egg in DLC 4. Now I must make it clear he did not say an actual Easter egg or main Easter egg for DLC 4. He quoted final Easter egg. Now this can mean absolutely anything. The super Easter egg, the across map Easter egg, the Yeti eye Easter egg or something completely different we don't even know about yet. But you heard it here first. There are screenshots hanging around the web somewhere. I'm sure I can leave them on my Twitter but I did not take any screenshots of the conversation that was going down in Zombies Podcast, but it is said, and he will admit it himself, if you approach him, I'm sure he will agree that Lee Ross is going to be shaving his head when the final Easter egg is completed in DLC 4. Now the next story, or shall I say plural stories, because these both kind of combine, are both about DLC 3. Now there have been a few leaks about DLC 3, which I will be covering in a future video within a couple of days. The leaks are very more detailed of exactly what's going to be in the map, what the settings, there's gonna be a lot of detail within those leaks. But I'm gonna to cover today the special character that we believe that will be coming to DLC 3 and the settings or inspiration behind DLC 3 itself. So let's get straight into the first part of this. Who do we think? is going to be in DLC 3 as our special character. Now there are many many peoples but you must remember they're trying to use characters that are still alive, that are still relevant within the community and the industry. And one of those people who Lee Ross actually follows is Cassandra Peterson. Now if you don't know who Cassandra Peterson is, she actually continued a show that was created in the 1950s even though Cassandra was born in the actual 60s, she was a drop-in actor for the show that was based around the 50s. Some of us know her as Elvira. Elvira is the queen of horror, which fits quite nicely in the zombie themes in Infinite Warfare Zombies. Now we have scoured her Twitter, there is not a lot on her Twitter, though around the day they were VO recording for DLC 3, i.e. voiceovers, she was taking a nice little cruise in a wagon down Melrose Avenue in Los Angeles. But she does actually live in Los Angeles, so it's very very hard to say if this was a trip or a small hint towards the fact that she was actually around that location at that sort of time and actually no based in California in Los Angeles is the studios for Infinity War. There is somewhat of a pattern in Lee Ross's Twitter follows. He does seem to follow the people that are coming to the DLCs and he does seem to follow them quite before they actually make it into the DLCs. Well, one, well, Alvira aka Cassandra Peterson was one of the first followers he ever made. But I did only cover this story because I was told by an inside source. So if this is correct, then we know that source is pretty much legitimate. But Elvira, the Queen of Horror, could indeed be the next DLC free special character. And when I go on to the next part of the story, you are gonna see how Cassandra fits in to the whole theme of the next DLC 3 map. And talking about a DLC 3 maps, its location and where it may be or what it may be like, Lee Ross posted a tweet on his Twitter the other day with a picture which is on screen right now. And it says, as promised, a sneak peek at DLC 3's poster, another amazing piece of work by the ultra talented art director, Jake Geiger. More to come. Cool looking, sunglasses, emoji. And in this picture, you cannot see an awful lot. It has been confirmed by Lee Ross. This is about 10%, if that, of the original poster. We can see a little bit of font at the bottom. We can also see what looks like to be a ship. But if you look very, very closely, I think we could be confusing this with somewhat of an island with a cliff at the end. So we don't know if it's a ship or some of an island. And something that really sticks out about this picture, that the logo or the name of the map is usually kind of central within the posters but underneath you see the water but what is underneath the water i could only imagine to be more water now this brings me on to where we think or what we think the next dlc free map is going to be based on now i was talking with a part of my team and some of dame's angels and najma the one and only amaman potsy come up with a very good theory about twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Now this story first originated as a book. Its first publication date was in the 1870s 
which is a long, long time ago, and English wasn't its first language, it was actually a French book, which was then converted into English in 1972. But I'm going to put a picture on screen for you right now. If you look in the left-hand side of the screen, you can see something that looks mighty familiar to the actual poster that Leroy's posted on his Twitter. You can just see a little rock with a ship in the background. The top half is above water and underneath is below water. It was about a giant sea monster that was attacking ships in the Pacific Ocean until one day there was an expedition and on that expedition a guy in the book known as Ned Land was actually dragged overboard whilst harpooning the supposed narwhal aka monster only to discover that the supposed monster was actually a submarine piloted by the brilliant but haunted Captain Nemo. This film was actually remade in the 1950s by Walt Disney. So again we have the 50s Elvira and we have the book or the film that was remade in the 50s by Walt Disney. So it pretty much seems that we're going to be going back to the 1950s even though the original film and actual TV series that Elvira was in was not in the 50s. They were both sort of very highlighted within the actual 50s. Now if we take ourselves back to the ending cutscene of DLC 2 in Shaolin Shuffle. We get a very, very small clip with some eerie music in the background, which would remind some of the Twilight Days, the Twilight Zone, sort of a horror themed music. But there is a guy who is stood there. You can see his hand and you can see a very thick collar. Now I've done a lot of research upon different types of clothing. I thought this was going to be a Dracula theme map at first, but if we look at Captain's jackets back in the 50s. There is an image on screen now. If you compare the collar to the collar in the ending cutscene, you can see it's a rather thick collar above the neck to keep you nice and warm and keep the wind chill out. And if we use this theory with the thick collar, it's going to be a captain, some sort of captain, and take that theory over to the fact of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea was based with a haunted captain as the pilot of a submarine. Everything fits together absolutely beautifully. Now of course where does Elvira come into this? Again she's in the 50s. She makes a lot of horror films. It's going to be a very scary map. Here is a bit of fan art right now that a Twitter user by the name of ISO God actually tweeted me and if we take a quick look over to the original Reddit post we can see something again that seems like it actually fits within the time era, within the map, within the type of horror that is going to be and connecting all those dots together really makes me believe that this is the closest theory speculation amongst some of the leaks that we already know but this is kind of thing, this is the kind of thing that we are going to be looking for or finding within the next DLC. And not only that, within the Zombies Round Table again, Lee Ross gave me and my team, especially my man Potsy, a small sneak peek of the DLC 3 poster. Now it's very, very small, but within this poster it says, Willard Wilder presents with a blue background. Now some may assume this is the sky, but to me I feel that this is the water and this will be in the lower part of the poster where we can actually see under the water with some sort of submarine inside the actual image. As you can see a few bubbles actually floating around the Willard Wilder sign. If you look again on the DLC poster, we can see the sky behind it is somewhat green in respect with a little bit of blue and a lot clearer than what water would look like. So this is my assumption and speculation and theory of what we are going to be doing in DLC 3 or the settings and the special character. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I think this is absolutely awesome. I'm really, really hyped. Of course, we're going to get some more information in the future and there will be a video coming up soon with some supposed leaks that I will be covering in that video. And uh, unfortunately guys, that is it. That is all the news for today or all the news that will fit in this particular video. Guys, Saturday at 7pm GMT UK time or 12pm Pacific time standard, me, Damien at Gang, the homies, is going against, is going to war with Ninja Nation Gaming and the ninjas. There is going to be a donation war on Saturday, so guys, I would like you to come over and show your support. The winners and losers are gonna be doing some pretty crazy things, and we're also gonna be doing some pretty awesome giveaways as well. So guys, make sure you're there. If you're in the UK, it's a perfect time for after tea, just before bed, and if you're in the States, it's daytime. So hopefully you're having a lazy Saturday and you'll come over and make it. I must just add this, war is about love. Is it about a supposed beef? That we have had for an awful long time and we are combining our channels together settling this once and for all and hopefully showing the community that love and peace is always better than war and beef 
Guys, you've been absolutely awesome. Thank you for tuning in for today's video. I do apologize for the lack of news videos. There are legitimate reasons behind it at the minute. But your love and your support is absolutely appreciated as always. Don't forget, guys, the like goal on today's video is 115 likes. So be awesome. Smash it. Do as you do. But guys, this has been another episode of Your Source. For COD Zombies news, zombie information and everything you need to know about zombies. But until the next video, this is your boy Dame.